Hi everyone, here's another little tutorial about uh, this writing project here. In this one I'm going to show you how you can use the Graphmatica and Equation Editor to actually do the work on your paper. So we'll get a little bit more uh, look as to what this paper is going to look like. So the first problem uh, that you're supposed to do in this uh, problem set here is problem number one and it is about uh, US populations and uh, the first thing that you're asked to do in this problem is to put in a scatter plot of the data. So, so just write that on your paper and now you're ready to import the graph from Graphmatica. So I've already got Graphmatica open here and this is what you'll probably see the first time you open up Graphmatica. It's just a big wide empty uh, screen nothing else in it. What you want to be able to do is to add data points. So go up to View and choose Data Plot Editor right there. That opens up uh, this XY table over here. So now I'm going to put in the X and Y data from the problem set right there from the textbooks right into this uh, into this Data Plot Editor. Um, one change I'm going to make though is I'm going to let the first year uh, of my uh, data be zero instead of 1790. This is going to make the calculations a lot easier and so this is based on US Census data which is taken every 10 years so the years just go up by 10 and um, I'll just continue on putting in the years and putting in the population numbers into the Y column. So now I have all the data in there and notice a couple of things here. I have uh, a red square representing each one of these data points so there's the square symbol and the color is red. This just shows the color and then this over here shows me my choice of what style of little mark I want to show up. Um, one thing I want to do here is I want to actually change the name of this and I'm going to call it US uh, Population, US Pop. Okay, That's all I'm going to put in there for the, for the title of this graph. Now notice that this square uh, showed up. So as soon as I put in these numbers into the XY table, they started getting plotted. I don't have to tell Graphmatica to plot these points. As soon as I put the numbers in, it gets plotted. But I don't see them according to uh, this uh, the scale on the ax axes here. So what I have to do is go in here to view once again and change the grid range. That determines how much or where I see this data. So I'm going to make the X values uh, from 0 to 220. And that I get just by looking at these uh, numbers here in my X column. In my Y column, I see that I go from 3.9 all the way up to 281. So I'll just let uh, my lowest Y value be a 0 again, and the highest Y value, let's just say, be 300, just to give myself a little bit of room. So I hit OK. And there we go. We see all the data points in a nice, wonderful curve. So my scatter plot is ready to go. All I have to do now is go up here into Edit and say Copy the graphs. I usually copy them just black and white. It's up to you though what you want to do. Copy. Now I go back to my paper, my Word document. And where it says scatter plot of data, I'm just going to hit enter. So my scatter plot shows up right here. I'm going to hit control V and the graph just pops right in there. Now this graph is way too big. I want to size this down so that it fits better in my paper. So I'm going to grab the left hand or the uh, lower right corner and scroll it up there so that I can look at that. Maybe that's a little too small. Maybe I'll just kind of resize it there. Anyway, you can. You can play around with that to see what uh, what size looks best for your paper. Okay, and um, so the next thing I'm supposed to do for this problem is to put in a an equation for this. All right, so let me just uh, let's do this. I'll put it up here. I'm going to say tab right over here, part B equation. Um, let's just do that equation. Now, the equation, I don't know that yet, so I have to let Graphmatica figure that out. So I'm going to go over here back to Graphmatica, and uh, here's where the regression model comes in. Now, uh, we've done this once or twice in class, I think, but uh, here's what you do first. Options, check that. Make sure that you have chosen the proper regression model. 
In this case, we're using exponential. So I just make sure that that is selected. And hit OK. The next thing is to just go in here, curve fit. And it draws the line right in there. Not only does it draw the line, but the equation is kind of hiding. And it's up here in this top bar. And it's given me this equation right here. Uh, so that's E. That EXP stands for the, the natural base, E. E to the 0.020x plus 1.8. And you can see this correlation coefficient, 0.98. It's pretty good. But it doesn't look so good for this part of the region over here. That's one thing I observed right away. This part of the graph, kind of a big difference between the actual data and the way this curve is going. So that might come into play later on in this problem. But right now, I'm just going to write this equation in here. And so the equation, I said, was, let's see, let's go in here, put, put in the equation. To write the equation, I'm going to use the equation editor here in my Word program. All right? So to do that, once again, as you've seen on the other little tutorial video that I make, I choose Insert, go over here to the equation. And I've done a little bit of the conversion here from the equation that uh, Graphmatica gave me. And here it is in our standard form, y equals, and it's uh, 6.05 times e to the, and then there's an exponent here, so I'm going to use uh, this exponent tool here. Go over here, click that, click that, and I'm going to put in my base e, just type in the letter e, and then the exponent is 0 0.0202 times x. And that's the equation right there. Just click out of the box. There's my equation. Now, I can go back to Graphmatica and take a look at that curve. That curve looks, that's what I want to show on my paper too. So I go back up here, edit, copy, go back to the Word document, hit Control V to paste it in there. It's a little too big once again, so I'm going to resize it down. And what happened? There it is, right there. There's my uh, scatter plot on the left, and then and then my scatter plot and equation regression equation right there shown on the graph. So the next part of the problem is asking me to input a couple of numbers into this equation to find out how well the equation actually models this data. So for the year 2010, since that's 10 years after my last data point in the table, my last data point in the table was when x was 210. So for my uh, to do this next part of the problem, I would just go in here and put 220, 10 years more, into the equation right here. I'd, I'd figure that out. And, uh, and put that answer right in here. Uh, something like in the model shows that in the year 2010, according to the equation I got, the population will be 514.9 million people in the United States. Uh, for part D of the problem, they ask what about the population in the year 1965, and I could do a similar little calculation there using this equation and the appropriate year for X uh, to figure that out. Uh, then the last part of this question is a one or two sentence little summary of how well I think the model, that is the equation uh, that's being graphed right here, how well that actually matches up with the data. And I would have to say that as the years get closer to our present day here, uh, this model is less and less um, accurate as a predictor of the U.S. population. But I want to hear what your thoughts are on that problem. So that's how you do it. Uh, good luck. Stay tuned. Ask me any questions that you want. Bye-bye.